Hello guys, something I find is really important in RPG Maker is custom characters, I mean you don't want to be using the default ones. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make those, or rather import them. Alright, so we'll start a new project. Now um, you're going to want to go to a website that has characters. For example, I'm going to want Tara Branford from Final Fantasy VI. This website, Untamed Wild, blah blah blah, link is in the description. This website has a lot, and I mean there are others, and there are also some like websites where you can create your own but for right now I just want Tara Branford so save image now I'm gonna look for the project file which I believe was RPG Maker XP project 3 graphics characters and now you can say we're here there we go now we'll be going to my database just to Tara because that's who I want and boom, we have Tara Branford right here. She's looking uh, very fabulous as always. And now, when we start the game, once it decides to load, for some reason on Windows 7 this takes forever. There we go. A custom character has been imported. Isn't that like nice and simple? I mean, we just we all want custom characters. No one wants to play as the default ones. Yeah, so custom characters, they're really nice to have, you know, you don't you don't want to be stuck with the the default ones cuz most people will rate default games bad. Well, like not default games. Most people will rate games with default resources bad because like I don't know. Using default resources takes no creativity or any like effort. So, you'll want to go the extra mile and add custom characters. It'll make your game feel more feel more alive, make it feel more like yours, you know? So um, I highly recommend using custom characters, and I hope this tutorial helped you, if this is what you were looking for, or you just think it was neat. Alright, so here's Princess Peach, here's Sora, and I'm Tara, and uh, thank you.